friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my baking series. This is the Mother's Day edition. I cannot wait to share this delicious recipe with you guys that is absolutely perfect for Mother's Day. It's perfect for upcoming summer barbecues, but definitely a must do for Mother's Day. Take it to your Mother's Day get together or make it special just for your mom. So I'm gonna share with you today a WW friendly pineapple upside down cupcake. Wait until you see the recipe that I have in store for you. And also, wait until you see the smart points. You're not gonna believe it. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for our, my baking series, Mother's Day edition, all you have to do is stay tuned. For our Mother's Day Bake With Me, we are going to be making pineapple upside down cupcakes. You guys, your mom is bound to love these. They are WW friendly. They are super low points and I cannot wait to share this Mother's Day recipe with you. So let me show you what is in our cupcakes. So first you're going to need some all-purpose flour. You can use either frozen or fresh strawberries. You can substitute cherries if you'd like. If you do use maraschino, you will need to add points because those cherries actually have smart points. You're going to need some brown sugar alternative. I am going to use Swerve. You're also going to need a granular alternative. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use Swerve. I have some eggs, some light butter. You'll need a can of crushed pineapple, some fat-free half and half, salt, vanilla extract, baking powder, and last but not least, vanilla Greek yogurt. So let's get started on our Mother's Day Bake With Me. To get started on our pineapple upside down cupcakes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brownie tray, my square tray to make these. You are gonna go ahead and melt one half of a cup of your light butter. We are not going to use all of this, it is divided. And we're gonna take a brush and we're just going to rub it along the inside of each of our 12 muffin tins. So then that way nothing will stick to these and that butter also gives your cupcakes a really, really nice buttery flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all 12 brushed with our butter and then we'll be adding in our upside down ingredients. Once you've brushed all of your cupcake air compartments with butter, we are going to add in some of our crushed pineapple. Now you can use crushed or you can use rings. We are going to divide this out amongst our muffin tins here. If you have a ring, you would lay that on the bottom. Make sure that you do drain your pineapple as well and try to keep any moisture or liquid out that you possibly can. So we're gonna go ahead and fill all 12 compartments with the pineapple. And then we are also in each compartment going to add one piece of strawberry. I went ahead and used frozen strawberries. We're just gonna plunk that down in there. So we'll do that on all 12 of our muffin tins as well. So look at how delicious. your pineapple and your strawberries look it's so yummy we are going to take one tablespoon of our swerve brown sugar and we are just going to evenly divide it out over all 12 muffin cups with this is what's going to stick this delicious pineapple and strawberry mixture nice and chewy and delicious to our actual muffin so we're going to go ahead and sprinkle our brown sugar over all of our muffin cups and then we're ready to prepare the actual dry muffin itself this is already looking so good you guys did you ever think that you could have pineapple upside down cake essentially on Weight Watchers. It's crazy to me, but yes, yes you can. So there you have everything drizzled with some delicious brown sugar. Next, you're gonna get a large bowl and we are gonna mix together our dry ingredients. So what I have here is one and one third cup of all purpose flour. 
And then in my other cup here, I have three quarters of a cup of Swerve brown sugar and one quarter of a cup of Swerve white sugar. So we are going to add that. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt to bring out the sweetness. So go ahead and add that. The recipe does call for about a quarter teaspoon of your salt. And then we are going to also add in some baking powder. So we want one and a quarter teaspoon. So there is one and a quarter. And then we are gonna get this all mixed together. You wanna make sure that that baking powder gets mixed really well with your flour and sugar so that your leveling agent is throughout your entire dry ingredients. So we're gonna get this mixed up and then we'll be ready to add in some of our wet ingredients. Once you've stirred together all of your dry ingredients, it is now time to add in our wet ingredients. So we are going to put the rest of our melted butter into our dry ingredients. So that was divided between putting it in the muffin tin as well as into our mix. I also have one half of a cup of fat-free half and half. The recipe actually calls for whole milk. So I substituted fat-free half and half only because it's a little bit thicker than almond milk. And I wasn't sure if we needed the thicker version for this recipe. And then I'm also going to add in some vanilla extracts. And we are going to add one egg. And then last but not least, we are going to add in our vanilla Greek yogurt. And the recipe calls for about a quarter of a cup of yogurt. So I'm gonna add in about half of my container. And then we're gonna give this a nice mix. You wanna make sure you mix it enough so that there is not any lumps. And then we'll be ready to scoop this into our muffin tins to make our cupcakes. I am so excited, this looks so good. It smells super sweet and super delicious. Once your ingredients are all mixed together, we're ready to scoop it into our cupcake tin. So I'm going to use my large scoop. I do have the three pack of these scoops. They come in three different sizes linked down in my Amazon store below. That should be about the perfect amount of mix. And we are going to shoot for 12 full delicious cupcakes. These should be so good with that brown sugar, pineapple upside down. What mom wouldn't love these? So I'm going to get my muffin tin filled here for my cupcakes and then this will go into our oven at 350 degrees. So once you've added your batter, we are ready to put our cupcakes into the oven. They should be done in 20 to 28 minutes. Here are our pineapple upside down cupcakes out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool before we turn them upside down and I will show you our completed Mother's Day baking series and give you the smart points. So here are our completed pineapple upside down cupcakes. Look at how delicious these look. I cannot wait to give these a try. This is what it looks like all nice and up close. Look at that pineapple, strawberry, sugary goodness. They are nice and thick. So they have that cake-like texture in the middle, that nice crunchy bottom, and your gooey, delicious pineapple strawberry top. So these are our Mother's Day baking idea. I think this is a fantastic thing to take to any Mother's Day get together or just to make for your mom as a special treat. You can have an entire cupcake for only three smart points. Three smart points, you guys, for an entire pineapple upside down cupcake. Thank you for joining me for this edition of my baking series for Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing our pineapple upside down cupcakes. Let me just tell you, they are to die for. They are decadent, they're sweet, they're fruity, and there are only three smart points. You can't beat a three smart point cupcake. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I do upload videos most days of the week. Also hit your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time that I upload. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try this recipe for your Mother's Day event, for your mom, for summer, for some barbecues, what are you gonna do with this recipe? And of course, I'll see all of you in my next video.
Bye guys. Happy early Mother's Day.